<clears throat> good morning good morning Facebook um, so I just kind of want to jump right in to what I want to talk about today um, not last night but the night prior I had a very um, powerful dream about um, the redemption of time and I want to um, talk about that part of, um, of what I want to say first so in this dream it was the night of the 6th going into the morning of the 7th that I had this dream and in the dream I was very aware that it was the 6th of January and yet it was like um, I was seeing time going back until the 31st and the 1st so like the night of the 31st of December to the morning of the 1st of January and um, what I really sensed is that like there's just a resetting um, and actually that word has been um, really something that has been kind of swirling in my spirit for for a long time now and in fact um, I'm writing a, a, an ebook and five videos that go along with it and that'll be out like next week um, it's called the reset and anyway back to this dream I sense that there was such, such a strong um, desire of the Lord to just redeem time and even if there had been the last six days maybe that you have not um, the maybe the year has kind of gotten off to a, a rocky rocky start for you uh, maybe there's been some things that didn't get quite tied up in 2019 heading into this year I sense that even like the smallest things were things that the Lord had wanted to redeem. I also sense that there was just this very strong current of um, redemption of time flowing through this dream and that like anybody who has been delayed, hindered, stolen from in any way needs to tap into that river because it's, it can go back, back not just decades but even generationally. Something that should have been your parents or your grandparents, it's available for you in the dimension of time it can be it can be hastened so that everything that should have been yours generationally even hundreds of years that should be yours it can be redeemed in that so I just really want you to um, tap into that and really start seeking the Lord and asking for the recompense and the blessings that are supposed to be yours um, last night I also had a very, very powerful dream about time that I'm not quite ready to share yet except that I want to share one part of of what I saw which is that in my dream we were all given all believers on earth were given these special watches and these watches had had very specific names they were given to each of us and they it had to do with our um, purpose our destiny on earth the thing that we were created to do and the time the watch was set to to those to to synchronize with the purposes of heaven and each one of us was given that and I saw that even now is more a critical time to be looking at that watch you know you have that time you were given that time and so you need to be paying attention to what your time is don't look around at what other people are doing but like really what are you supposed to be doing where are you supposed to be who are you supposed to be connecting with because they're each different and they're when we tap into that we can get synchronized with the movement of heaven and that's really important so now I want to talk to you about so as I was praying yesterday about the um, the time dream the one that I had this night of the sixth the morning of the seventh um, about redemption of time um, I was just really praying into that because I felt like there was um, something that needed that was there was more to it that I didn't have the fullness of yet and um, I was given the words Valley of Vision, but I never have heard Valley of Vision. I'm sure that I had read it after I had found it in the, in the Word, but I just I didn't couldn't call, recall it to my memory. So, so last night God gave me Isaiah 22, and the first verse says an oracle concerning the Valley of Vision. And again, this is the it is the time to redeem time. It is the time to redeem time. But you your vision will determine the amount of time that's redeemed and how it's redeemed, how quickly it's redeemed, and the fullest extent of that redemption that comes. It has to do with the way that you can see. Okay, so I want to read to you really quickly verse 5. For the Lord God of hosts has a day, a tumult, a trampling, a trampling and a confusion in the valley of vision, a battering down of walls and a shouting to the mountains. And when I was reading this, what I felt like was there was things that were long-standing 
in the way of you moving forward, of you reaching the, the goals or um, even just having a glimpse of some of the dreams. Maybe you have clear, foggy vision. You can't even see what you're supposed to see. And what I felt like right now is that, again, this has to do with the redemption of time, that it is the, the day to shout to these mountains, to batter down the walls, the things that are standing in your way. It is time to really take your authority and to start speaking to those things that are standing in your way and partnering with the movement of heaven in your specific situation. You know, tap into, again, look at your watch, you know, the, the, the watch that you were given for your time and seasons and start partnering with that. When you're in tune with heaven, you're going to start getting connected to the people who are meant to be with you. You know, those kingdom connections that are going to help you move into your destiny and sustain it. Okay. Even generationally. And so, um, again, it is time to, to get the vision of the Lord and to start speaking to the things that he wants to have removed from your life. Um, listen to verse 10. You counted the houses of Jerusalem. You broke down the houses to fortify the wall. What I felt like the Lord was saying is that there are people who have sacrificed a lot. They have given up, you know, they have sacrificed their, um, their own house, you know, to fortify the walls. They have given up and laid down some of their dreams in order so that something else could succeed. Maybe even somebody else, maybe even um, a kingdom movement or something like that. They have given up the desires of their hearts so that that resource or that, um, that specific thing could be used in place of uh, uh, another thing that would serve the greater good. And there's repayment for that, you know, walls speak of providing security. They speak of, um, safety and, but they were also where the watchmen sat. And so I feel like the Lord is saying right now, you've, you've allowed that wall to be rebuilt for the greater good so that I can set my watchmen upon those walls. But I saw what you did. I saw that you gave that sacrifice and now is the time that I want to repay it. And so, again, you know, just if you've torn down your own dreams to serve another purpose, to serve a greater good, so to speak, it is the time to get tapped into the repayment of heaven, you know, uh, uh, because there are mountains and walls coming down now. Um, verse 11 speaks about looking at Jesus, the one who had planned this all from the very beginning. And it says that we need to turn our eyes to him for he had planned everything for, from long before. And that's really what needs to happen is that we can get distracted by what's happening in the natural. It seems as though nothing's changing. Maybe you're comparing yourself to other people. And right now is not the time to do that. It is time to just get so fixated on the lamb and what he is saying over you. Listen to the songs of deliverance that he is singing over you and your specific situation because he's planned this long before. He already had a plan for your situation. It's not surprising to him. So um, I wanted to mention that too. Verse 22 in Isaiah 22, verse 22 is of course that very famous book verse. It's quoted in Revelation. Jesus quotes it in Revelation. Of course he has the, he will open the doors that nobody can shut and he will shut the doors that nobody can open. And that's a part of the redemption of time is that, first of all, the things that have been shut for so long that you've been waiting for are finally going to be open to you. And the things that you have been trying to close off, the things that you have been trying to get untangled from and unhooked from, are you're going to have the grace to shut that door. He's going to come in on your behalf and shut that door for you, and nobody will be able to open it. I do want to really quickly um, share two more verses from this chapter was really just speaking to me again with, because of the dreams that I've been having lately. But in verse 17, behold, the Lord will hurl you away violently, you, O strong man. So God is removing, again, all of these things that have been delaying and hindering because it's not just about the uh, manifestation of your dreams. It's also about the earth being filled up with the glory of God, which is the, the dream that, that God still has for humanity, for, for all of his creation. And when we partner with that, we, we get God's dream and we get our dream, you know? And so that's really the, the thing is to 
shift your heart to be into more perfect alignment with kingdom's plans and purposes uh, because he's wanting to come in and move things that have not been moved and open things that haven't been able to be opened in a long time maybe forever maybe even in your your entire lineage there's no, been nobody who's been able to overcome that thing or to step into that place that you feel like you should be called into and you don't really have a blueprint you don't really have a set path you know you don't really know how it's going to happen or how to to make that happen you know but God is saying that he is going to show you he is going to lead you um okay one more thing that I want to share with you from this uh chapter verse 14 the Lord of hosts has revealed himself in my ears we think of revealing as something of our eyes looking at something and being able to see something being able to behold um uh, an aspect or, or, or a vision. And the way that the kingdom works is not, is not the, the, there is no limitations, right? And so God is, there's another way that the Lord wants to reveal himself. He still wants to reveal himself, but there, it can be revealed to your ears. I just literally did a video, I think, um, a week ago on be careful who you listen to. And it's on my YouTube channel. You can go find it if you haven't listened to it already. It is so important that your ears are pure right now, that you are only hearing the things that are meant for you to be hearing at this specific time. It's not because necessarily that there are, that it's a bad message or that there's something wrong with the person giving the message. It's just that right now there has to be such precision in everything that we do in our words in our the, even even taking time you know just being intentional over every single thing that you do if you don't already make sure that you pray over your dreams you know before you go to sleep put a hedge of protection around them you need to hear from the lord directly specifically and purely like it should not be tainted it cannot be tainted right now during this season because there are so many um crucial like intersections that we are coming up into and um you know again going back to my dream if there are if you feel as though there are loose ends things that didn't get tied up from 2019 still like 2020 maybe off to a slow start you're not having clear vision get into the realm of time and tap into what the lord has for you you know sync your own self up with the kingdom it doesn't have to look like what everybody else is doing you need to be in tune with with the heartbeat of heaven and from there everything else will flow you'll have the connections that you need you'll have the resources that you need everything else will flow from that but it does require you to do something you know in Ezekiel God says make your own self a clean spirit make your own self a clean heart lots of times we expect God to do something without us taking a step and that is not the way that the kingdom works God responds to those who seek him but you have to be the one who's actively searching and so there there are things that we need to do right now especially for this special time redemption of time and to be able to have this vision unlike we've ever seen before I'm telling you that there is going to be things revealed to people right now that have never been been seen never been even heard of before and it's because th th there needs to be an acceleration for kingdom the, the, the kingdom needs to expand at a rapid rate right now because it's it's literally at like the edge you know of a cliff is really how I see it it's like at a precipice in in the all of like eternity you know and and there is a, um, a way that we can partner with it how amazing is that that we get to be participants not just um, observers of this that is happening and so for each person um, you know I just encourage you to really look at your own that sit with the Lord get quiet and sit with him and ask him about your own timelines you know your own vision your own dreams and how you can be partnering with this remind him of the things that you have sacrificed you know bring it to his mind let those altars speak on your behalf in heaven yeah so anyway i just feel like this is really something that um that uh, uh, the body as a whole needs to be mindful of, inten intentional with our time, intentional with our words. Um, I'm going to talk about this a little bit more next week when I 
launch the the reset um, package that I'm going to be releasing but in the spirit world there is nothing that is covered your intentions are very apparent to both angels and demonic entities they can see your your desires they can see how pure your hearts intents are they can see how connected you are to the kingdom and that either attr that attracts one of those sides there is no neutral uh in the spirit realm there there is no neutral ground really anywhere um, but in the spirit everything is able to be seen plainly and clearly and your intentions this is why i just mentioned you know the verse in, in ezekiel that says god says you create yourself a clean spirit you create your own clean heart and i really uh encourage everybody to do that like there is grace to do it right now get make sure that you are right in right standing before god because that is what allows everything in the natural to line up and um and to ask for that recompense that you are due for to ask for the 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 justice system of god to work on your behalf and um and there there, there i can just feel it so strongly that there is um a very intentional it god's very intentional right now about making sure and bringing to our minds time that we are you know synced up with him so i hope this word encourages you it was um the dream uh, the dreams that i've been having um have just been really uh really incredible and i can't wait to share more about them um you know whenever god would have me do that but but i i really encourage you there's such a grace right now to redeem the time and it's done through the way that we see things it's done through our vision the the way that our hearts are um cleaned how pure our spirits are has to do with the way that we see um you know that that if I'm looking through, let's say, like my glasses are dirty, I'm going to not see the cleanest picture, right? I'm not going to see the full thing, and it's the same thing with our with our spirits. You know that your eyes are seeing only what your soul and your spirit are clean enough to see, and so um, that's probably a whole teaching on itself. But but it is very important right now that we have pure vision, clean vision, and uh, and that we are brought into that movement of heaven and we are willing to, to move with, with that river of time that's already flowing because in that river is the redemption uh, of all of the things, you know, individually, corporately, and ultimately for the kingdom. So that is the word that I have for you this morning. I hope it um, encourages you, blesses you. If you um, didn't see my announcement, I'm doing a special live on my YouTube channel tonight at 7.30 Eastern Time. If you want to join, um, I'll be doing question and answer um, after. I'm just going to do a short teaching and then I'm going to do a question and answer. So you're welcome to join on live on my YouTube channel. And um, yeah, I'll have more about uh, the reset uh, package coming out um, either later on this week or next week. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But okay, so blessings on your day and talk to you guys later.